For our next activity, we are going to talk about representational art. And representational artwork aims to represent things in reality. So when you think about sculptures or um, diagrams of how buildings will look, like in architecture, they use a lot of representational art or paintings that um, an artist paints that looks just like a house or a field, anything that looks like reality. It's not the same as your abstract art. So with this activity, we are going to make this lighthouse shine the light that you see in the picture. And we are gonna use an LED bulb, a battery, some copper tape, these binder clips we'll use at the end. You'll need some scissors to go along with this and maybe an extra pair of hands. So if you look at the back, um, there's a great diagram. And as you look at this, it doesn't have any words on this, but your copy will have some words that will help you. What I went ahead and did is where the lighthouse light is, I took a toothpick and I poked a hole right there because our copier on the back didn't line up the dot just right. And it's very important that the bulb itself is going to be in this lighthouse light on the picture. So you're gonna poke that hole first. It will be very important for you um, as we do the back. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start here at the top and you're going to take this copper tape and you're gonna put it where you see this black line. It's very important that you don't peel all the tape off at the very beginning, because this um, copper tape will then just knot up in a ball and it will no longer be helpful or useful to you. So you're gonna do just a little bit at a time. And if you peel it apart, it on the black line. Now one thing that's going to be important is that at each corner you're going to need to overlap the tape and that will ensure that you get a good connection with your battery. thing that's fun about this project um, is that you know it uses electricity we're using the light well when you talk about electricity that um, can get a little scary get a little overwhelming but when you pair it with art it becomes more friendly so this is really an electric experiment or an activity but we've tied it into art Step we're going to do is we're going to mount the LED. So on your LED is in this picture one um, piece of wire is shorter than the other. The shorter piece is the negative, the longer piece is the positive and that's very important for you to remember. So I'm going to set this here because you're going to use um, electrical tape 
Also, you can try to use different types of tape. Um, electrical is best because it is for electric things. So, I have my tape ready. I have, I'm going to flip it to where the longer one is lined up with the positive. The shorter piece of wire is on the negative. I'm going to put my LED where it goes through the hole in the lighthouse. I'm going to bend the wire and it has to touch. I'm going to bend it in a 90 degree fashion. It has to touch the copper wire and that's where this tape comes in. There, we're going to bend this one. I'm going to try to get that wire flat on your copper tape. You take some finagling. Light bulb is still there. All right, so now we need the electricity, the power. And in this circle is the negative. This circle is the positive. When you look on a battery, the positive is always going to be marked with a plus sign. So the opposite side is the negative side. Battery down on the tape or on to our drawing, you will need to tape the battery on. Just the edges, because you need to make sure you have a good connection. So I'm gonna use some more electrical tape. Actually, I'm gonna cut this piece in half. I think it'll work better. We're going to tape it to the negative side. Tape it to the negative side. We're gonna fold this over and if you notice my copper um, tape is here and I have this space for my battery. I have to line this copper in with the space that's not covered up by the tape. So it's going to take a second to make sure I line that up. Don't fret. Don't worry if your light bulb is not coming on yet. These binder clips, you're going to clip it together. I'm going to continue my fold. Okay. Like a surprise. We're going to turn it over and see what happens. Right there. Okay, my light is not on, but if I push, okay, this one is very, you'll have to play around with making sure everything has a really good connection. So if I push on the battery, that lines um, the copper up with the battery. The light comes on. You can see it looks like the light shining across the picture. So this is your example of representational art. And then to turn off, you would just disconnect the battery from the copper wire. Um, for troubleshooting, um, for us, our issue is right here with these wires. Um, you'll need some help bending those into 90 degree angles to get them to sit right on that wire. Um, because whenever you touch the copper to the battery, it should light up perfectly. So it did take us a couple tries to get the light bulb on and to sit right, but it is very exciting.